Gentlemen we need to talk. You think they can hear us? Now I'm scared. I don't know why you did it, but I'm really disappointed. Why? We were supposed to be alone as good buddies and not surround ourselves with any women. Are they bothering you? Yes. You know, you don't have to talk to them if you have a problem. Keep quiet. I think they can hear us. Good. Let them know they are not welcome here. They always do that whenever they see men having fun. They have to slip in and spoil it from the inside out. This is my girlfriend and I'd like to spend some time with her. We were supposed to spend good time in our group, not babysit your girlfriend. I would also like to have one that would love me for no reason. You think you found a girl with some daddy issues and now you're some kind of a hotshot? Not necessarily, hotshot but... Do you actually think I can't see it? The way you look at us, like you are above us all, and you frankly not. I've always looked at you weird. I know, but I feel it more now. Just because there is some estrogen in this group, it does not mean that our trip will be ruined. We won't be able to talk about men's stuff. Everyone will mind what they say instead of being honest. You know what? If it makes you think about what you say, then I'm for it. What do you mean? Your arguments on statistics were funny at the start but now they are boring. We forgot about Andy. No we have not, Sebastian didn't want him to go. Why not? I have some objections for him being here with us. Oh look at him, he is already removing his buddies and replacing them with some girls. I just didn't want everything to be sticky. Well, I guess you are right. And the other girl? Who is she? Don't mind her. She is for me. Gosh, another simp. Are you guys multiplying or what? What does this have to do with simping? Are you going to be nice to her all the time? If I have to. Well, then you have the answer. I'll be nice to her because she's my friend's girlfriend. And you're going to be flirty with her all the time? That's my game plan. You are a giant pig if you want to take someone else's girlfriend. But she is not married so she can always break up with anyone she wants. Remind me not to introduce any of my girlfriends to you. Believe me, I'm not worried about that. So what are we doing now? We're going to tell them that the car's broken and they have to call an Uber and go back home. They certainly won't believe that. My car is the best achievement of recent years. Oh, sorry, I forgot. No problem. What achievement are we talking about here? It doesn't even have air conditioning. That's convertible. We don't need that. Oh right, you are one of those thankless youths. I remember when I was your age. At that time, my hair was long and fluffy. We have nothing but we were happy. Just like in those advertisements. I remember that many girls fell in love with my guitar skills. And then in that car we were. On which seats? What are you talking about? You are 30 years old. You are a year older than me. So you know what good old times were back then. I wasn't very active in my younger days. I can see that. So what rooms are you guys taking? There is one bedroom with a double bed, one with two single beds, one sofa for two people and a fold-out bed. One bed is missing. No. Everything is correct. You probably don't know how to count. There are eight of us, because our Romeo decided to kick one of us and replace our buddy with two women. Eight people and seven beds or six if Patrick will take a couch. I prefer sleeping on a single bed. You're right. I'm sorry I forgot about your girlfriend. Based, who even thinks about women these days? Sebastian probably takes a double bed. You'd rather spend the night in a single bed and talk with her at bedtime. Patrick can sleep with Nathan on the couch and Arthur probably goes with a folding bed. And you? I can sleep in a car. You probably want to know which seats he had all his parties on. I think it is wrong that at the last minute someone joins our trip and takes the best spot. And now we have to agree because our buddy over here wants to be all cuddly with his girl at night. Yeah, we're going to stay in the same room. We need to talk about something. Are you sure? Yes. We won't be doing anything fishy, we promise. Okay, then good night. Good night. I'll admit you screwed both of us. How was I supposed to know they know each other? You know, we all went to the same school so I guess it was logical. I think I knew that girl from somewhere. 
We were with her at two parties, don't you remember? Are you mad at me? Forget it. I'm just asking. Well, I admit that I could have had an easier time with her if she was sleeping in this room. You think? Well, you know. People nowadays have an easier time opening up to someone if they can't see their face, whether it's with texting or in such situations. There is something about it. What are we going to do tomorrow? Let's go fishing. Can you fish? No, and you? I didn't have to. It would be nice to show them some primal male ways, who knows, it might work out. They will see how we can handle stuff and they will be the first to beg us to swap our bedrooms. Guys, you're sleeping? Oh hi, come in. I'm sorry man that it turned out that way. Like what? You know, you and your ex-girlfriend. What ex? Isn't she left you for that girl? Yes, I mean no, not in that context. If you want, you can always talk with me, I will try to understand everything. Thanks. So you came here just to tell us that our girls are lesbian or what? No, I have a hard time sleeping with Nathan. His body has an irregular shape, and it feels like I'm sleeping on a log. Maybe you should sleep on the other side of the bed. His feet stink. Sorry, I can't help you with that. What do you need this for? Well, to see what they are talking about or what they are doing. Dude, they don't do anything there. How do you know? I don't hear any sound. Maybe they do it very silently. And? You know what, I can't hear a thing. I think that cup of yours is broken. I guess so. This whole operation is a bush league. Or maybe they're already finished. Gosh Julek, I knew to come here earlier. Why are you smiling? Because we act like little children. Right, I guess I'll go to bed. Why are you angry? Because he hasn't eaten anything for a long time. Then eat something? Here you can have this can. No. This is nothing new, you are always saying no. I don't like canned food. Well, if you caught a fish and didn't break the fishing line, maybe we would catch something. I would rather buy prepared. Once my dad wanted me to smack a carp's head with a hammer for Christmas Eve, I still remember those eyes, I still have nightmares. I don't like the idea that we have to hide in corners just for a talk. Then maybe if you just talk to them, you could change your mind. What opinion should I change about them? That they're not that stupid? Thanks for thinking that about my girlfriend but yes, it would be nice if you stopped having that opinion about them just because you read a few headlines. Interesting theory, just a shame it clashes with what they are doing now. If it goes on like this, we will run out of salt. Will this make the leech vomit on her wound, or something? And when they go back to the civilization, they will pay hundreds for some leech treatment in some beauty salon. She has a rich dad. Your girlfriend? Weird. She looks like she has none. Lucky man. Maybe if I had a girlfriend who supported me, maybe I could forgive her this and that. Look what I caught. You got to be kidding me. Pour his scales with water or he will suffocate. How do you know that it is a he? I can tell by those eyes. How did you caught one without a fishing line? I just jumped into the river. That's quite a story. I wonder what Andy is doing now. He's probably having a good time just like us.